Well, the ripple effect of emotions following Mandela's death reaches around the world. Case in point, one South African turned to Sonan, whose life's work centers on bridging the gap between South Africa and the States. Not in your sides, Maggie Vespa joins us with this story. Terry Von Guillaume knows it is tough for many Americans to understand. You know how special he was to us, but uh, explain it to my own wife who's an American. Yeah, I get uh, very teary eyed. To have one man throw himself on the front lines against a government with such power. We were convinced or taught to believe that segregation was a good thing. The Johannesburg area native came to the States in his 20s and now sells vacations to his home country, a place where fears were sky high 20 years ago that a black man imprisoned by the government for decades would seek violent revenge. Those fears continued until Mandela's election in 1994. It wasn't going to be a civil war. Um, Mandela did not incite the youth um, or most of uh, the black South Africans to take out vengeance or revenge. Now, Guillaume hopes Mandela's commitment to slow, steady peace proves a lasting legacy. The big message is to learn to forgive, uh, and I think that's what he definitely taught me and uh, anyone with hatred in their heart. Uh, the sooner they remove that hatred and learn to forgive others is the message I've taken away from Mandela. Um, be great. If everyone else could do that. Great insight there. And we also asked Guillaume about that handshake that you talked about earlier between President Obama and Cuban President Raul Castro. And he says it's what Mandela would have wanted. A lot of people are saying this tonight. It's putting politics, or excuse me, peace above political differences. So good insight again tonight. Absolutely. Thank you very much, You're Maggie. Welcome.